Hello from Tennessee. Yes, it's been a little while. I wanted to jump on, do a quick update, and a little bit of an impromptu state of the collection. Be right back. Okay, so let's get into it. Like I said, it's been a little while. Um, just haven't had the urge or the inclination to, to do a bunch. Uh, been a crazy winter, been cold, work's been crazy, uh, but things are starting to settle down a little bit. Weather's getting warmer, so thought I'd do a quick update here. Um, so as you can see here, this is the current state of my collection. Um, the black, uh, pillows are uh, blank spots which means I those are empty spots in the box um, I've got something coming in here into that spot there I actually um, I flipped a bunch of watches and then bought a bunch of watches so I flipped a momentum the sea quartz and then getting ended up getting the the eclipse the solar one that's all blacked out um, never had PVD watches before and so I've kind of been on that kick a little bit. Um, also picked up this uh, Winfield here recently. So this is a recent acquisition. Really cool watch, killer loom. Look on my Instagram if you're looking for that. Um, around Christmas, I ended up getting these two. I ended up getting this uh, Notice, uh, Random Rob Special Edition, really cool watch. And then this Visitor watch here too as well. Um, in terms of very recent pickups, um, this is my first experience with Raven here, and I just picked up this Raven. Um, it's a great watch. It actually has, excuse me, the Nodex clasp on it. Um, really cool watch. Um, they just actually uh, came out with a collaboration to Notice and Raven, which I think some pictures should be dropping on that soon. I picked up this um, Serica Homage watch here. Got it on Watch Dive. It's like, I can't even remember the brand name. It's like IXAO or something like that. Um, for the price point on this baby, it is absolutely amazing. Very, very impressed with this piece. Let's see, what else did I pick up recently? Oh, yes. I've never had a two-tone watch or a Pepsi bezel, um, so I kind of just stuck this on a brown rubber for right now. But this Timex is pretty cool, and the GMT function is pretty cool. Very affordable piece, fun. And I think that's it in terms of what I picked up. So again, the Winfield's fairly new, the Notice, the Visitor. Oh, I don't think I talked about the Visitor, sorry. Yeah, this Visitor is fantastic too as well um, and my more upscale box here um, for those of you that know me a little bit um, I went I was kind of focusing on an Omega SMP 300 for a little bit um, and that's why I sold a bunch of watches I kind of was getting my war chest up I had quite a bit of funds in there, and then uh, I pretty much had this one sold, this one sold, and feel like I could have sold this one too as well. So I had the funds to do the Omega, but after some soul searching, I decided um, to hold on to the Breitling and the Zen, and even the Zodiac. Um, I think for me, this box here represents a lot of my collection journey. Um, I think all these watches are unique in their own right, and um, it's gonna be hard to get rid of them. Um, so with that being said, I don't know if I've got the inclination anymore to go more upmarket, but certainly that can change. And really too, this box has become a box where I can play an experiment like I indicated before, this um, Pepsi bezel. I've never had a Pepsi bezel. I kind of dig it. So maybe that will allow me to go to something else. Well, you know, uh, a Manta is something I've always wanted and they've got some interesting stuff with the Pepsi bezel. Um, and then I just wanted some color too as well and some different case configurations too. So 
Um, I think I'm pretty happy with this for the time being. So um, one, I'm out of money and two, I think it's time to enjoy stuff a little bit. So that's about it. I just really wanted to give a quick update, let y'all know what was going on. Um, don't know what the frequency of my content will be. It seems to be a, a constant thing, but at the same token, still really active in the hobby. Uh, belong to a great group. Um, did a lot of trading, you know, uh, buying, selling. So uh, I'm pretty happy with the diversity I have right now in this collection between color and everything else. Um, I think the one thing that I've been thinking about too is something, uh, a red dial watch. And so that's something else that I think I could add an affordable one. Um, Wise has some really cool ones that I've been looking at. Uh, I think there's an old Squale that has a red dial too. I think it's a 1521 case. So I'm thinking uh, eventually maybe adding um, a red dial because I think I cover all the gambit, you know, from obviously black, white, orange, yellow. There's a green over there with the Perrin. Um, there's a blue up there. Uh, and obviously some nice colors over here too as well. So that's it. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, welcome to March. Um, spring, summer will be here before we know it. Uh, as always, stay positive, make friends, and enjoy the journey. Take care, everybody.